family like our, our, we all got kids now so it's just like we all was the kids now we got kids so it's just crazy yeah, to see yeah. that shit happen but your B placement you landed B placements with like Reebok larger companies it's all through relationships man. yeah every time and, and that was a year in the making of just conversating and uh and given, I mean, I was giving free stuff and just seeing what this what this guy was doing and see it where I could pitch some kind of tool or give some kind of help. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that took time, bro. And there were some empty promises along the lines, but finally something. Aren't there always, right? Yeah, yeah. All that shit. You go through all that yeah. shit. Stocks are down. There's a whole lot of other things in life to be involved in. I'm not about to just, unless you're not like you know, yeah. Alice something right. like that the busy but yeah i think the problem is too a lot of people are just way too invested regular everyday people that can't take the hit mm -hmm. they put too much money in it and, and you know too zoomed in man you gotta zoom out it's so because it does get unhealthy like I, I i go through that in certain situations like whatever sometimes it happens like you be so invested so zoomed in and you feel that shit you start feeling heavy mm -hmm. situation get heavier and heavier you just begin to feeling down mm -hmm. and, and that applies to everything yeah dude and like, like you gotta person. zoom out and uh get involved in something else what's your favorite kind of media to create what do you like making for the people that don't know what you I do i like making music the okay. best the most how would you describe your music uh my music uh it's a it's a blend jazz hip-hop r&b it could be house you know what i'm saying ultimately it's just my expressions yeah. I try to relive experiences right. and the sounds of those experiences. I remember riding in the car with my dad a lot, and he'll play a lot of DJ Quick, a lot of jazz, a lot of oldies, and those moments never left. Like I'll, I'll carry those forever, and I, I search for those in my music. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like so, that's pretty much fueling everything. And to make a living off of it, it's like, yeah, hell yeah, that's a target, that's a goal, so. That's been the whole mission. Groovy and jazzy with my brother, Kill Good, on Tribe and Vibe Radio. Only on MSYH.FM. Tune in, you and me. You said the train feels claustrophobic. Yeah. This shit feels claustrophobic. Nah, bro, yeah, the windows are down. <laughs> I like the view, bro. I'm really looking outside. Like, damn, I'm really out here in New York, bro. Like, yeah, you do I'm get a real alley, bro. Like, I'm, yeah. I'm really out here. <laughs> I'm trying, bro. Like, that shit, it blows my mind every time. I, yeah. I'll never stop looking over here and seeing it, like, thinking that, bro. Real yeah. Shit. And I don't know if California is a, 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 like a golden spot or a place to be for you, but imagine, like, you just started working there. You living there now. You'd be like, yeah, yeah. You'd probably be out there on the Hollywood sign looking out, like, Fuck, that's crazy. That's I thought true. about it as a kid. Like, yeah. I'm here now. That's true. I agree with that. Yeah, that's how it feels. The destination is on your right. 2022 Benedict Avenue. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Yo, what's good? Yo, Josh, nice to meet you. Mommy Josh. It's Ozzy, awesome. bro. Yeah, this is fire. Yeah, but that's kind of like feeling, the... Man, man, we just good. It's politics. Great, trying man. to think of these fire. ideas. I finally get to see you. Yes, sir. Wow. I'm gonna walk in, and uh, you're gonna be like, hey, yo, kill good, what's good? Right. And then uh, dap you up, okay. and I'm like, what's up? Like, what you doing? It's like, man, about to, uh, about to cop, cop some of these. Yeah. Show the sneaker, you know how we do. Mm -hmm. Catch that look. Uh, I was like, yo, those are fire. He comes in as a, as a friend to me, my friend. Just roll and that. Yeah, it's like you, your role is just like you're here you already you. already shopping for your shoes. I'm just here to show you that we got it on Agri. Right, cool. That's the whole concept. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much, I have a content series called AO Kill Good. And Kill Good, I'm a, I'm a DJ, producer, okay. uh, content creator, and personality. And so pretty much what I've done, I started going to like different brands and stuff and partnering up with uh, partnering up with Aglet, which is a, a sneaker online gaming app where you kind of, yeah, it's, it's really dope, it's really cool. You like build up an online digital sneaker collection, just like in the real world where you can trade, sell, 
buy sneakers. You can do yeah. all that on the app. So kind of go like to like NFT, but like just there is NFTs there. there as well. Okay. And so uh, it's really dope. Well, my job is is to blend the like make be that bridge from digital to in like life. real life. Yeah. Yeah. So the sneakers we're going to talk about today is the, is the Adidas, the Superstars, the OGs. We have them in the hat. The red ones or the, the red ones. ones. The red ones. Uh, where they pretty much emulate the real world like sneaker culture, where okay. you're selling, trading, uh, collecting sneakers. You do right. all that within this app. Okay. You have your avatar, and I just bought these. Okay. And so what I'm trying to do now with Aglet mm -hmm. is, is be that bridge and show content of being that bridge where the real life copy is there. I meet up with Ozzy, he's getting the real copy, and then I'm being I'm like, oh, yo, what's going on, bro? You show me the shoes. I'm like, hey, yo, you got to get these on Aglet because we have them on there as well. Okay. Like a digital copy. And that's pretty much it. So if you're faceless throughout, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's the what's the reasoning? I'm just curious. Uh, it's part of my brand. Fair enough. Man. Yeah, it's, yeah, I thought it would be really I just wanted to know. Because you should see the looks he gets when he walks. Oh down. yeah, but everybody's looking like, what's going on there? Ton of attention, yeah, but it's great networking. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. It looks great. Man, you always worn the hat? Yeah, I've been doing it for like 10 years now. You go out with it? Like, yeah. DJ. I, oh, you DJ with I the I DJ with it. I produce with it on. I make all kind of content. Yeah. How many of those do you have? Just this one. You just want to watch it? Yeah. Right, I, I built a little fan in here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. It lights up and stuff. I it's really dope. much. Yeah. But yeah, I, I appreciate it. warm that. in there. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Thank all right, good luck. Appreciate you guys. No problem, man. Thank you, man. Absolutely. Thank you, bro. 240, man. You used to have to wait on the line for these dogs, bro. Mm. You're going up, you like... Nah, no, I can walk in the store and get them off the wall. Like, yo, let me get these. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy how when something is first like initially released, the, the weight, the, the amount of hype that surrounds it. Oh, dude. It's so difficult oh, to get something, right? Like people are. I mean, but at the time, there weren't so much athletes either. Yeah. So like LeBron was that pivotal guy, right? And right. basketball, who was bigger than this guy? Mm -hmm. Nobody at the time period, right? And then all oh, the other guys, Cammy Kobe was. So I can't take away from Kobe, but I'm talking about when he came, he was like mm -hmm. the new guy on the part. Like he was, he wanted to be better than Jordan, kind of. Yeah. And that one did it. I ain't gonna lie. Them Galaxy uh, LeBrons. It's a lot, a lot of culture embedded in that sneaker. So right. it means, it's, that's, that's the cool thing about the sneaker culture, right? It's more right. than just a sneaker sometimes. It's, it's not the story. The product. There's a story behind it's the product. Like that's what I really sells, right? When people go out here and they, and they spend this much money, X amount of money on Travis Scott's or whatever. The crazy, these crazy right. market prices they, that they're but paying. But I understand it though, because it's their story. Like I've just told you about this yeah. one. I mean, this generation might not care about what I cared about, right. but they care about the Travis Scott, so I, I understand it completely. I can't believe y'all got these on sales, bro. Not this size. Of. Yeah, they are not And the Galaxy joints you sitting on. You know what, we actually... Yeah. They gonna buy it because they feel like they they're coming up. You feel know I me? Mean? Like, they just told people don't Wow, right there. Hey, yo, chill. Yo, what's up, bro? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you I doing, man? Man, can't complain. <laughs> you say I'm bopping like a real New Yorker. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, you can tell. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just all right, cool. I need a pee. Go back one more time. That felt, that was real. So, I can't even. That's what you eat, bro. You gonna split one with me? It's like a dream, like, I would have daydreams. Real talk, I was driving a fork truck. I would daydream me being out here working. And I'm fucking out here, bro. That shit, wow. You are. I swear to God, bro, working, I promise you. What, what is it, what do you think it is about the city that makes you feel that way? I think it's just the molten pot of, like, the collection of just people who create. There's so many of us. Like, all three of us create. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it's that's. That's the energy I need. It's a place that, that's so congested with uh, culture and different kinds of people that want to create and express yeah. how they feel about things. That I feel like you come here, you're just, you're, you're, not, you're inspired. You don't yeah. really need to do much to be inspired. People need water. It's a beautiful place. You know, some places are deserts. A place like this can give you a lot of water to grow. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, and the water is the people in the community and just like, 
the shit that you know people are like hey let's go i say something early in the morning and y'all yeah. niggas are like yeah let's go yeah that shit doesn't happen to every everywhere you know what i'm saying yeah there's so much nutrition in that way right motivational yeah. wise um educational wise there's a lot to to if you can if you're a plant, you can be a plant here yeah fine. photosynthesis central and i've been to places where it feels like a desert nobody's watering you there's nothing to water you yeah you yeah, know yeah, it's hard yeah, to grow you know yeah. what i'm saying so. absolutely so tell us what you got in there gonna uh, eat toast in there beef fried rice right? yo thank you brother appreciate that oh yeah thank you for real for real for real for real man your boy was off the trail mix and <laughs> water <laughs> So we just pulled up at West NYC. We did our thing. Uh, we produced uh, some some commercial work for Aglet. Uh, we're here with our boy Oz. Thank hey, you, for, thank you so much for joining you, us, dog. brother. We appreciate you. Course, yeah. Yes, sir. My boy Nate. Uh, I can't wait to share something behind the scenes. Thank you guys for watching the vlog. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Yeah. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. That comment button. Where, where can they find you? They Man, you. at K I L L G X X D. It's pronounced Kill Good. Holla at me. Beautiful. It's like that old Gucci, bruh. It's like that old ass Gucci. That 2005 Gucci.